How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Drift Away as recorded by Dobie Gray on guitar. This song has some fantastic guitar playing in it and it's just a great song. I'm going to break the intro part down for you note for note and then we're going to go into the chord progression for the entire song. So when you're done with this video you'll have a guitar part that you can play from top to bottom and you'll be able to go right along with the original recording. I'm going to be playing this song finger style so I won't be using a pick and if you've never played finger style before at the first link down below I've got a free PDF cheat sheet that's just a finger style jump start. It's going to show you some exercises and how to get started playing finger style. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Drift Away as recorded by Dobie Gray on guitar. Now we're going to start off with this intro riff that uses a little bit of finger style. And we're going to move through a couple chords here in the key of B. Here's what it sounds like. Three, four. <laughs> So we're starting out on a B chord here, and then we're moving up to a D sharp minor seven, then to an E, then back down, D sharp minor seven, then B, then F sharp sus four to B over F sharp. So those are changes there. Ba, ba, ba. So what we're doing with the finger picking hand is we're going That's the first part over the B Then up to the D sharp minor 7 Then E That's the same pattern On both those chords so Then back down, D sharp minor seven. Then we go, and that's on the B chord there. A little pinch, and then four, four there on the uh, third and fourth strings, so. Then we move up to this F sharp seven sus four, and we're just gonna walk through the strings like this. And then we'll play that F sharp in the bass, but then go to, to like a B chord here. So a lot of times I, I'll go like this. From that F sharp sus four to really a B over F sharp, that sound. But I'm just gonna do that part of the chord. So. Okay, that's our intro, and that's going to come back, but, but after this, we play that one time, then we go to the verse, and the verse is an eight bar progression. The first four bars sound like this. So I'm playing a bar of E to a bar of B. So this is one, two, three, four, then change to B, two, three, four. Then we have a split bar. We go E, and then put the F sharp in the bass. This is E over F sharp, back to B. Now you could just take this E chord that you're playing and then move that bass note, or you could use the thumb. Sometimes I'll use the thumb like that. Then we go back to B, two, three, Four. So, so far, one, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, E over F sharp, B, two, three, four. Then we start off the same way again, E for a bar, B for a bar. Then we move up, C sharp minor seven to E. So that's four, six, four, five, four. It's just your typical minor seven bar chord. 
to E. Now all these shapes that I'm playing are very common rhythm guitar shapes. So, you know, each one you're going to want to make sure you have down. So that's our entire verse. So here's the whole thing. Again, coming out of the three, four, two, three, verse to B. E, put the F sharp in the bass, B. Sharp minor, seven, then E. Then we go to the chorus, and this is Gimme the Beat. Here we go. Sounds like this. Three, four. back to the reintro there. So for the chorus, we're going to play a bar of B to a bar of F sharp, then a bar of E for the first three bars. So that's one, two, three, four. I want to get lost in your rock and roll. And E, two, three. Then repeat that again. B, two, three, four. Then F sharp. This time, two bars of E. Three, and then we hit the intro, same as before. So here, I'm gonna add a little bit more of a groove. I'm gonna go. And the guitar player on this original recording is just playing really percussively, like kind of popping the strings. Almost reminds me of like Mark Knopfler, kind of the way he would pluck the strings. A one and two and a three and four and intro. Now there's only one other section to know. This is the bridge and it's a six bar bridge and it starts on a C sharp minor seven. It sounds like this. back to the verse progression out of this. So what I played there was C sharp minor seven to E, down to B, then C sharp minor seven, E, F sharp. And through this whole progression, I kept eighth notes going. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Then C sharp minor seven, E, F sharp, two and three and four and back to the verse. Have fun practicing Drift Away as recorded by Dobie Gray. Make sure to take it slow and remember that a lot of these chords are very standard R&B rhythm chords. If you want to play in a band, these chord shapes are going to become very useful. I know they're a little tougher because we have some bar chords, but Keep practicing, be patient, and it'll come together. Before you go, don't forget to check out my fingerstyle jump start at the first link down below. Again, it's gonna give you some exercises that are just gonna kickstart your finger picking hand and help you start being able to play without a pick if that's something new to you. And if you've been playing for a long time, you're still gonna benefit from these exercises as well. As always, leave any comments down below for future song requests. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.